Sabrina and Jason, despite efforts over the years to control the stray animal population, it appears matters have only become worse. It's become so bad some of the island's mayors are even suggesting drastic measures. A few years ago, Agate Mayor Carol Tayama offered her residents a reward for capturing stray animals in the village. Frustrated by what seems to be a never-ending problem, today before the Mayor's Council of Guam, she suggested an even more drastic solution. Forget about the bills. The dogs don't read the bills. I mean, let's get out there. I even, I even came to the point where I told the people, you know what, if it's on your property, shoot it. That's right. It's that's on right. your property Guys, and it's not your dog. Shoot if, it. If, I, if I, the that's me. Okay? Wants, you shut that up uh, and cut that part. <laughs> no, that's coming from me because Agate is infested with stray dogs, and what the people are saying, it's running after their kids, walking to the school bus. <clears throat> I mean, come on, there? man. Let's do something. While drastic, it was a similar suggestion offered by several other mayors during a lengthy discussion on the status of the Stray Animal Roundup Committee formed a while back. Every single day, I have people approaching me and I get phone calls. What we need is really action. Jigo Mayor Rudy Matanani is the chairperson of the committee and gave a status on efforts to refine current laws along with introducing new bills to help combat the problem. It's to better the, the control uh, and, and the work at hand that we're, we're going to have to do in trying to, to you know, reduce the population of the stray dogs and controlling it. He says the Stray Animal Roundup Committee consists of members from the Department of Agriculture, Animal Control and Game. But he's also requested involvement with the Humane Society, the Guam Police Department, and the governor's office. I requested for, for the governor to assist us in trying to build up the, the, the manpower at, at our culture, which is the, the animal control. So they were gracious enough. We were asking for 240000 a year, but they were gracious enough to help us with 200000 a year. And that would start this year. Matanani tells KUAM there are only three people at animal control and this extra funding could double the count. But until the stray animal population is controlled, several mayors like Derido Mayor Melissa Savaris say the solution cannot be left with just one entity, but the entire community. The key is trying to educate people. We know, they know the law. They know there's a leash law. They know that they have to keep these pets restrained. But you know what? I've read memos that came from mayors in the 70s and they were talking about stray dogs and it's 2015 and we're still talking about stray dogs 40 years later in the meantime the stray animal roundup committee chairperson mayor rudy matinani says a resolution is being drafted to support the committee's efforts and any impending legislation he expects a bill to be presented to the guam legislature within the next two months sabrina and jason back to you